Does atheism mean not believing God exists or just having a lack of belief in God? Now, have you ever had an atheist say this? That, that they, they're not saying they, they believe God doesn't exist. It's just that they, they lack a belief in God or gods. It's pretty common amongst atheists these days where it actually didn't used to be so, so much. And there's a definite reason why they've changed this classical definition of an atheist, which is atheos, no God. That's what it means. And that, that's a, a definite statement. You believe God doesn't exist. Um, see, atheists will often say they, they just lack a belief in God the way they lack belief in sprites or fairies or invisible purple unicorns. In other words, they're saying atheism isn't an actual intellectual position where they're making an absolute commitment or statement towards a specific worldview. They're actually saying that they have no position concerning God, so don't you dare accuse them of saying they believe that God doesn't exist. Well, let's break this down into two po points here. I mean, number one, why the change in terminology? And two, is this an actual tenable position? Well, number one's easy. I mean, wh why the switch up here? Well, if, if you have no position, how can you be attacked on your position? Anyone that's watched a politician for more than a few minutes has kind of seen this type of mumbo jumbo before, right? That the person just keeps talking and talking and saying a lot of words, but uh, they never seem to say or, or, or come to any kind of real commitment. So that later on, if someone accuses them of backing a certain point of view, well, they, they just kind of deny it and say, well, you know, it was pretty vague earlier on. They, they don't have to commit to anything. Well, that's, that's a defense mechanism being employed. What they're trying to do by stating they lack belief is to protect their worldview from being open to attack and cross-examination. Uh, no pun intended, cross-examination, but anyway. Uh, here's the problem with, uh, with point number two. And this is the question to ask the atheist that says this. Um, what is it that you lack belief in? Make them explain it. Do you uh, lack a belief in Allah, the Gitche Manitou, the one true God of the Bible? Uh, what is um, God that you lack belief in like? Prompt them. Is it the God you, uh, you believe in uh, supposed to have the power to create the universe? Yes or no? Does the God you lack belief in supposedly set the moral absolutes? Yes or no? You see, saying you have a lack of belief may sound like it makes sense to someone until you realize that once you're introduced to an idea, you can't be neutral towards it. You begin making judgments about the concepts that you're being exposed to. You can consider it's plausible, accepted, think it's nuts, crazy, rejected, or whatever. Maybe you need more information. Uh, to come to a definite conclusion. But you can't just say any longer that you lack a belief in it because it is an it. It's, it, it's defined to some extent a, a concept, so you can't lack a belief in it anymore the way you're trying to frame it. Now, even after explaining this, some atheists are still gonna say that they can lack a belief in things even after being exposed to the idea, but that's not true. If I were to say to one of my younger grandkids, you know, that I believe in the flying spaghetti monster, and this child had zero concept of what a flying spaghetti monster was and no, had no previous awareness of it, well, the flying spaghetti monster uh, th then that I explained is supposedly invisible and created the universe and lives outside of space and time. They would now have knowledge about that concept and they've got to either accept that or reject it or say they need more information to determine whether, you know, flying spaghetti monsters exist, whatever. And you can try to play word games and say not having enough information to make the decision as to whether the flying spaghetti monster exists, you know, equals being an atheist towards it. But that's actually called being an agnostic, not a true atheist. You see, the root of the word atheist reveals the fallacy. Atheos means no God. So does the term atheist mean you believe there is no God? Well, if used correctly, yes it is, and yes it does. People that misuse it should call themselves agnostics.